here we are, and you've got, again, you've got to go and do master class and, and performances. What else are you doing? I mean, are you doing other things outside yes. of Trio Sense and, and Ritmo Del Mondo? What, what, what are you up to? Right. Um, um, I have like a, I would call it like a regular patchwork musician's life. Oh, okay. So I have different kind of projects. Trio mm -hmm. Sense is probably my main band, I would say. Right. Because it's all original material mm -hmm. and I'm involved in the creative process. Um, I play with a singer-songwriter called Gregor Meile. In, um, he's a singer. He's kind of getting a little f more famous right now in Germany because he's part of a TV show. Oh, okay. Um, and um, which is really cool. And uh, he has got a lot of concerts coming up this mm -hmm. year, so this is really cool. Um, I play a lot, like in the singer-songwriter um, jazz area because then I can combine the drums and the percussions right right um, but I also do different things I, I for example uh, there's a TV show called the voice of Germany mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um, I play percussions on their live tour right which is like being a percussionist in a pop music setting right which right is right something completely different then yeah, yeah. The, and you just play percussion I just play percussion. Not, not drum no, 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 okay sound. right Oh, that's interesting. So you get to play with another drummer. That's and, right. Uh, uh, Patrick Farr. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Amazing drummer. Yeah, from yeah. Germany. Yeah. And it's really funny. I, I talk to him about that a lot. Is that when I'm only playing percussions, I'm no drummer anymore. <laughs> it's, it's really funny. It's, it's kind of weird because I, I never feel on stage when I'm a percussionist that I need to be on the drum set. Like right. I'm on the wrong side of the stage or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's that's really nice. So I, I really enjoy just being a percussion player. Right, right. You, you, it makes you realise the role of the drummer as well and how yes. to stay out of his way. Absolutely. And then I guess if you're if you're playing drums and you get and you're playing with the percussion guys, then you again you know you can see it from their perspective. Absolutely. Oh, that's really interesting. Oh, okay. It's probably one of the most important things in pl having drums and percussion playing. Yeah, yeah. Is knowing how to stay out, out of each other's. Oh, that's Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but I, I would hazard a get. I was I would kind of guess that that also the fact that that you talk about the singer songwriter kind of circuit. Right. I mean, the fact that you can come to to their gig and you can provide either percussion or yes. drum set or or both, where yes. you've got percussion instruments around the drum set. Um, I mean, that makes you a kind of quite a valuable player. Do you? Do you I mean. It must help with work as against the guy that's just a percussionist right. or just a drummer. Yes, absolutely. The, right. the dynamic range is pretty big mm -hmm. within one concert, mm -hmm. so we can have like really soft songs and can have really loud songs. Right. And um, they don't need to have <laughs> two different drummers. You no, know, no, like no. having an unplugged <laughs> show promotional <laughs> gig mm -hmm. with a percussionist and then having a regular show with a drummer. Right. So right. I could do both. Excellent. And I really enjoy it. It's, it's a lot of fun. Right, right. And because you, you teach a little bit too that's, as well? That's right. Yeah, do you, do you enjoy that? Is that something that, yes. that's, that you find creative as well? Absolutely. Um, I teach at two schools in Germany. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, they're kind of like music universities, so it's mm -hmm. for people that want to become professional musicians. Right. One is in Hanover called the Music College. Mm -hmm. and one is the University of Osnabrück. Mm-hmm. And so I have two days a week that I try to be there regularly, right. which is sometimes not so easy, but I try to be there every week. Right. And um, <laughs> I really enjoy teaching. And I wrote some material f for myself, like curriculum, mm -hmm. to to teach um, different types of classes. And right. Yeah, I really enjoy teaching. Yeah, that must be interesting because like they, 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 maybe the, sometimes you get students that ask you things that you hadn't thought about. That's right. Or perhaps you haven't developed. You think, ah... I learn. Yeah. Whenever I go to, to teach, I'm, I learn. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's wonderful. It, yeah, that it's really cool. Because yeah, yeah. some of the young students are especially technically incredibly advanced. Mm. Like that's... We hate that. Yeah. Yes, we, we, we don't like that. <laughs> and I try to keep them from practicing, but yeah. they still practice. <laughs> Each uh, week they come back and they're better. So yes. No. Oh, no. <laughs> no it's, I, I really enjoy seeing what they do. Because sure, yeah. they're... Um, how you, in Germany you say the pulse of the time. Yeah, yeah. No, we say the same thing. The so, pulse. Yeah, yeah. The finger is on the pulse. Yes. Mm -hmm. that, that's really interesting to see what are they up to. What yeah, kind yeah. of music do they listen to? And it keeps you fresh. Yeah, and, and how they, the, yeah, their interpretation of things. Yes. And yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, the internet has kind of just 
you know, exploded everybody's brains yes. in many respects in terms of what you can access. You know, That's right. um, somebody of my age, we we waited years for video. <laughs> you yes. know, before video, we only saw right. TV, and if you missed the show. That was it. That's right. You know, then, then there was video, and then, and then obviously DVD. But now, obviously, with the with the internet, it's you can, you know, at three o'clock in the morning, that's if you right. want to check out something, you can that's go right. find it. But uh, that's interesting. I, I, I'm I'm pleased that, that your students stimulate you as well, because I, I mean, you must have a lot of information and experience that you can pass on to them. Yeah, I, I, what I like is that experience still plays a big role in. Being a musician, right? Yeah, yeah. Because um, if you're only about the technical stuff, yeah, yeah. then you will always find somebody that's half your age and twice as fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, experience, like playing with other people, yeah. that's that's. I really like that part of getting older. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Getting more experience mm -hmm. and um, knowing, getting to know more musicians and playing with them right, that, right that's really cool i liked i like that yeah, that's, yeah that maybe is a disadvantage of the internet thing when you can because you can a lot of drummers i see practice a lot and mm -hmm. play a lot in their house yeah yeah but yeah. don't go out, go out yeah, and yeah. play with other musicians but know? but equally some of those guys if they did go out and play they would probably almost overplay yes. because it's like I've got all of this stuff yes. and I've got to use it. That's right. Instead of going, okay, I'm just going to sit here and listen, and then I'll figure out what it is I should be yes. playing. I mean, that, I mean, we're all guilty of that, you know, when we yes. were younger, oh, yeah, that yeah, excitement sure. and the enthusiasm of like, yeah, well, I've got a gig, we're going to play the drums, yes. and, you know, it's great, and everybody's going to love me. And then you get there, and you, you know, by the end of the first <laughs> tune, the rest of the band is going. Really? <laughs> yes. oh, yeah. But I mean, at least you can. Imp I mean, it's good that you have that experience that you can impart and say to the guys, "This is actually not going to get you a lot of work." Yes. You know. Right. So, cool. All right. So, look, looking like a busy year coming up. Is there anything else that you're recording that might be coming out, or that people could look for? I recently recorded a CD with a guitar player mm -hmm. called Marco Schneider. He's a like a guitar virtue also. Oh, right. um, that's going to be an interesting record, I think. Right. Um, I recorded it with a friend of mine, Mario Goldhammer. Oh, bass. bass. Yeah, yeah. Right. And um, he, the um, Marcos called it his pop record. Right. Because it, he sings on the record too, and only mm -hmm. plays guitar. And so he said, "Yeah, it's all like the easy songs." And then we <laughs> we showed up at the studio. It was like all changing meters, black pages, <laughs> kind of thing. So that was really fun. But that, that was a great recording session that I really liked. Right, that right. happened like last month. Right, excellent. And, and I have an own band coming up, like oh, a, you like do? a new, right, really new project, which, nice. is, which is totally different from what I've done. Right, so far. and and can you tell us a little bit about that, or is it's, it's it's with two friends of mine mm -hmm. from Hamburg? It's a uh, band without a bass player <laughs> right okay yeah so yeah. there's a lot of electronics involved mm -hmm. and we're going to record in july mm -hmm. um record a, an ep with right. four or five songs nice. and um will be out like in winter time yeah, 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 yeah a couple yeah. of gigs in december nice um, to start this project mm -hmm. and i'm really excited about that because it's uh types it's a type of music that i haven't played in a long time right sure yeah and so this is kind of going back to the kind of jazz hip-hop kind of era kind of influences yeah, it's, and it's but more it's like the electronic stuff i, yeah. I used to do that um a lot um playing in clubs with mm -hmm. djs and things yeah, like yeah. that um and i really enjoy being back on this thing like checking out the the programming so right right like that and uh, being involved in the songwriting nice um, writing lyrics and mm -hmm. um, sometimes being the bass player like I have a keyboard on the left oh okay and, yeah yeah and so you just like you run a loop or something or yes, yeah yeah okay like so, so what's it called? Has it got a name yet? No, not yet. Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> we're, so, we're so like, people, if you suggest a name for please. Stefan's band, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a trio. It's a trio currently. Yes. Okay. All right. We'll we'll come up with something. You could call it SET. SET. 
Trio. Yeah, Stephanie Mink Trio. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's nice. I wonder what the other guys think. <laughs> well, hey, well, yeah. Yeah. But it's always the drummers that put the bands together anyway. Yeah, it's always right. us. We, we, it's us that, that books the rehearsal room. It's us that chases the gigs <laughs> and have the car. Yeah, that have the, the car, car that drops right. everybody home. Yeah, and then, yeah that's, that's very true. That's right. um, yeah, I, I, perhaps sometimes we're underappreciated. Yeah, maybe. For, for the, so it, it's good we have something like the Songer Days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 no, very much so. All right, well, Stephen, I mean, I'm acutely aware that you, that you have to go and, and, and do your master class and, and a performance. You're performing with Rickmond? With Rickmond and Rickmond. Rickmond. Again and today. A lot yeah. of guests. Too. And, oh, yes. more guests. Yes. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. Well, we hope, to, hopefully we'll be back there by the time that we'll, we'll catch some cool, of them. that'd be great. We'll it. But in the meantime, people, please do check out Stefan Emick. You have a, you have a, have a website? website, yes. Uh, Stefan Emick. Dot de. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll put a link on the page. Oh, that'd, yeah. that'd yeah. be great. Yeah, um, um, we'll do a trio sense link. Um, um, Ritmo del Mondo link. If there's one, uh, it's just on my website. Oh, okay. Like a, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can read it. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll so it's all English speaking websites too. So yeah. Oh, okay. So well, hey, you please, know, please check it out. I'm okay. Really happy. So people, yes, please, and and if you want to actually just listen to somebody that has the most delightful touch, then I, I really heartily recommend that you. You, you check out um, Stefan. Uh, as I say, yesterday Chris Coleman was couldn't say words highly enough. Oh, man. And uh, in, in the this man is so humble. Yeah. It's wonderful. So Stefan, it's been a Thank pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. Always a pleasure, my friend. Thanks. And people, Mr. Stefan Emig. Mm-hmm.